one thing that a mystery or thriller will do to me is make me question humanity because these books are absolutely insane. I don't have nightmares from them, which is probably says something about me, but hey y'all, if you're new here, my name is Vimi Queen and I talk about all things black books, but this video I'm gonna be talking about the mysteries and thrillers that have snatched me on my edges, have made me question everything about life, just make me really curious and also scared from people in society. So if you're into mysteries or thrillers or even true crime, like this video is definitely going to be for you. If you're not, just go click on another video. I have one, two, three, four, seven books I wanna talk about that are all equally weird and crazy and just strange honestly strange isn't even the word but let's just get into it first is the perfect marriage by geneva rose this is a very popular tiktok book luckily i didn't discover on tiktok i just came across it in barnes and noble but this one is absolutely insane oh my gosh the characters are crazy the main character is this woman she is a lawyer and she's very successful and she's married to this not so successful writer and she buys him a house a cabin house that is a little bit outside of their city so they live in dc she buys my house in Virginia, and that is where he's supposed to write with all his ideas and just, you know, be so inspired. But really, he is using it to cheat on his wife. <gasps> yep, that is his place. So he has a mistress that he hooks up with at this cabin, and she, like, rarely ever goes to the cabin, the wife. But this book is about his mistress being found dead in the <gasps> bed of this cabin, and he is the prime suspect. And as a lawyer, she decides to defend him. Yes, she is his defense attorney. That in itself is just like crazy enough like wait a second what like you're gonna defend the man that's literally been cheating on you for how long in the house that you bought with your money but then it gets crazier they start to uncover the background of the mistress and also of the husband she's doing an investigation on one side because of course she's his defense attorney but he's also doing his own like investigation because he's like i don't know if my wife is actually able to get me out of this even though she is literally one of the best lawyers in dc this book was so good but what gets me about the every single thriller novel is that the end like the last 50 pages is where it just uh, it just comes together because I did not see this coming. I did not see the ending of this coming. I thought it was someone else. There were so many red herrings that were so perfectly placed. Like for you to be a thriller author, you have to know how to seriously plot different clues to mislead your reader and she did it every single time. I could not get enough of this. This was a five star read for me. I absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh. Like, oh! Oh, it's juicy. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. A lot of people did not like this one. That's not Kalila D. I follow her. I love her content. She did not like this book. <gasps> I just loved it. We have different book tastes, I think. Some of the books we do align on, but some of the books we don't. And this one was one that we did not align on, and I just thought it was so good. I will say I am a little biased because I love everything about Paris. So any Paris books will just stick out to me. Honestly, I could do an entire video on Paris books. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. This is a story about a girl who is British. She shows up to her brother's apartment in Paris looking for him because she wants to stay there for a few days. She turns up to his apartment. He's not there, even though he was expecting her and he texted her the night before. So she's trying to uncover what actually happened to her brother, where he is, who he was living with, etc. And she is living in his apartment while she is doing so. And she starts to meet all of his neighbors and his neighbors are a weird bunch. I think weird is the word. Like they are just like, that she's like, something's not right here. There is a little bit of French in this. The French is translated. This is also told in multiple POVs. So if you don't like the multi POV concept, then this also is gonna be a book for you. I think there's a right way to do POVs and there's a wrong way. And I feel like this way was right. Maybe it's because again, I'm biased. I love Paris books, but I felt like this one went over very well. I have read other books with multiple POVs that I'm just like, oh, this is hard. But this one was actually really good. So the story takes a long time to build, which typically I don't go for those. Like I want to be dropped in the middle of the action. Just, just, just put me there and then I'll figure out, you know, my way after that, right? This one starts out fast. It gets a little bit slow in the middle, but when it comes together at the end, it is sickening. It is absolutely sickening to read what happens in this novel. All about motives. It's really about motives for me. I want to know why they did it. And a lot of times with thrillers, they don't tell you what the motive is. It is so insane, but yet so good and so juicy. I enjoy this a lot. I had a quite the time with this novel. It was very, very good. Let's move on. Next is The Couple Next Door. This one I picked up on a whim and oh my gosh. How do people decide to be parents? Just what? This one is about a couple. 
they just had a baby it's a newborn or a few months old and they decide to go to a party next door at their neighbor's house. The sitter ends up canceling on them and they are about to cancel going to the party because they realize, you know, we literally live right next door. Why don't we just check on the baby every 30 minutes? Oh, she'll be fine. The baby goes missing. Yes, and the detective is investigating what happened to the baby. This one makes me look at a lot of parents funny. I just, I'ma say it, I'ma say it. Because why are y'all parents? Why, why, why did you, as the story unfolds, you start to understand the context and their relationship, so the mom and the dad, and also their friendship with the neighbors. It is weird. This one also has some really good red herrings where I am like, oh, this person did it for sure. I know it, I am and not a doubt in my mind. I know for sure. And then I'll keep reading and I'm like, oh wait, no, it wasn't them. Ooh. Like I was totally turned, like I was looking over here, but it was really going over here. This one is a really good one. This one is very eerie. This one makes you question all parents and all of their motives and why they decide to have kids in the first place. So if you don't like kid stuff, like a lot of people do not like reading about things happening to children. This one doesn't really go into detail about what happens to the baby, but it does talk about parenting as a whole. So if that's something that's not, you know, your scheme, then you might want, not want to read this one, but I thought it was good. I read this in a day and a half. Like this one was really, really good. I loved it. This one is psychotic. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I had to kill men and get away with it. And this is a UK based novel, which I don't read too many of, but this one was just so, mm, chef's kiss so good so it's about a girl who's an influencer obviously i connect to that is being stalked by someone online and she's actually being followed out of the club one day when she accidentally kills the guy that's following her what's interesting about it is the guy was making inappropriate moves towards her he was following her he was also threatening her so after he dies she just doesn't feel anything she's like whatever like there's like no remorse at all whatsoever then she starts to uncover more men that are also doing really dangerous disgusting things towards women so assaulting women attacking women they have records of them attacking women and they have violated their parole like it's just absolutely insane so she takes matters into her own hands and she's literally starts to kill these men and she's getting away with it that wasn't a spoiler that literally is what they said on the cover here so i didn't give that away but this book is juicy juicy good craziest part about it is that like because she's an influencer she has this like luxurious luxe glam lifestyle and she says that she doesn't feel anything towards her current lifestyle but when she starts going after these men she's like i feel like my life has purpose and that is just so interesting to me because it really makes you question as the reader like what is right and what is wrong is it wrong that she's killing men that assault women and have no remorse about it i don't know i have no idea but i thought about that that this entire book there is a little bit of romance for in here too so she's also dating this guy while also killing other men it's so crazy it's literally so crazy it, it was so so good i could not get enough of it one thing i don't like about this book is that it does over exaggerate influencer life style to me like influencer culture you can tell that it's not written by an influencer which i totally understand but the plot is so juicy psychological bit is it's psychological it's it's doing what it's supposed to do okay this next one oh my gosh my lovely wife now this one was a doozy this one was a pretty thick book this is one of probably the longest thrillers i've read i normally just take the books that are like 300 pages or less this one was more about 400 but it was worth it so it is about a couple who works together to abduct women Let's just stop right there. Why is that a plot? What is going on with the authors? Who, who, are you guys seeing somebody? I feel like we should check on the authors of these novels because how did you come up with this? Is this from based on a true story? Anyway, this couple abducts women. The wife actually does a lot of the torture, which is absolutely insane because you wouldn't think that, but this novel is told through POV of the man and he doesn't quite know what his wife is doing but he also doesn't ask he's like i don't want to be you know legally responsible for that but they work together they start to impersonate a serial killer that was previously active in their town but they miss a few things a few details if you will and it leads to them getting in a lot of trouble both the husband and the wife and this really made me question being in relationships because typically like on any true crime video movie or documentary you've ever watched 
you're like, oh, it's the husband. Oh, it's the boyfriend, you know? So it's like, reading this, I was like, oh my gosh, do I wanna be with a person? Do I wanna be partnered? I'm questioning it. I'm questioning everything about this. I just, I can't say anything else without giving away the story, but I will tell you this is worth every single penny. You need to buy it. If you're into reading about very strange people doing very, 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 very weird things, this is it. Okay, next is The Other Mistress. And this one is my black owned novel of the, the video. This one was so good. This one is twisted in a way that is more internal than it is outward. So a lot of these other books I've talked about, they're very like outwardly sick and just like crazy. But this one is about a woman who discovers that her husband is cheating on her with not just one, but two other women. So she decides to meet with the first mistress and she's talking to her she's like getting to know her because she's like i want to know like why he's cheating on me with her you know like why why her she's talking to the mistress and she tells the mistress like oh you know he's seeing someone else too like it's not just you there's another mistress the first mistress is like what, what? So they decide to team up they want to ruin the relationship of the husband and the second mistress again where did this plot come from this story just like make me question where authors get the motivations for their books because this main character goes through a lot i mean a lot of self-confidence issues of self-esteem issues of just like relationship and like internal growth it is very much internal which is very different from any other book that i've read which is why i loved it so much it was just that good but this one is a weird one the ending really caught me i was like no somebody here is lying like this this isn't mm -mm, there's a lot of lies and i i know i know somebody's lying and the person that was lying was not the person i thought it was this one was really good this one got five stars i loved it a lot of these books actually got five stars for me <laughs> Maybe I just like the sick and twisted books. I think I do. Make sure you add this to your list. Last but not least is My Name is Eden and I am reading this one right now. So I'm actively reading it, but it is very eerie. Like this one, this one is eerie and just like weird, you know? So it is about a girl who almost dies. Luckily revived back to life, but she doesn't come back to life as herself. She comes back to life as her twin who didn't actually make it to life. The story is told through the POV of the mom. And when the mom originally got pregnant with twins, one twin never actually made it and didn't even become like a fully formed fetus. So it was very early on in the pregnancy that this happened. Daughter that was born never actually knew her sibling that had shared a womb with her at one point. It's just so strange that she would like come back to life as this other person and she believes it deep in her soul she also does some very weird things like this book just gets very strange it's just strange and like i said i'm only halfway through but the one thing that does really stick out to me is that the mom is just very like insecure but also very fixated on her life and like wanting everything to be perfect it, because it's told the pov of the mom you really question the validity of what is happening like is it the mom that is being so critical that's why she's saying it that way or is this the actual truth i don't know i really don't know this book really makes you question <laughs> interpersonal relationships all of them do if you think about it but absolutely insane i don't i don't even know what else to say about this but it is definitely psychological because it has been making me think and very very hard so these are all the books that i think are absolutely completely insane so if you are into thrillers like i am you should definitely check them out you will be questioning society and humanity but that is the price that you pay for really great and well-written books <laughs> so if you guys like this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye